Scientists are one step closer to giving hope for the perfect hair transplant. Hair transplants have been a successful recovery story for millions of people who want to recover hair without medication, but they don't always give the results that people see. And they also require the removal of existing hair follicles in order to cover bald spots. But a group of Columbia University researchers hope to bring hair transplant shortfalls to an end by using none other than a 3D printer to grow human hair follicles in a lab. This isn't your average 3D printer that uses plastic to make toys. This this is a bioprinter and its ink is made of living cells. Scientists have known for a while that the key to growing hair lies in special cells called dermal papilla cells. You can think of these seeds as the command center of your hair follicle. If you have enough of them, they can instruct other skin cells, called keratinocytes, to form a follicle and produce a strand of hair. The big problem is that whenever scientists tried to use these cells to grow hair in the lab, they would actually lose their ability to grow hair. But a team led by Dr. Angela Cristiano realized that the cells were not the problem. It was the environment. In our body, hair cells grow in a very specific, narrow, vertical shape. The cells are packed closely together, allowing them to talk to each other through a process called cell signaling. And this is where the 3D printer comes into play. They used the 3D printer to create a special mold. This mold was filled with tiny wells, each one the exact size and shape of a natural human hair follicle. Each well had long, thin extensions, only about a half a millimeter wide, designed to mimic the tight, narrow space that hair follicles grow. This unique shape turned out to be the key. Next, they took human cells, including derma papillae cells, from donors and placed them in these tiny wells. They then added keratinocytes on top of them to give the cells the best chance to grow. The scientists added a cocktail of ingredients, including drugs that block something called the JAK stat pathway. This is a specific communication channel inside of cells, and turning it off seems to kickstart the hair growing process. Inside these custom environments, the derma papilla cells stay true to their nature. They signal to the keratinocytes, and together they self organize into the shape of a real hair follicle and begin to grow tiny hairs in the actual dish they were set in. But growing hair in a dish is one thing. How would scientists and researchers know that this could work in a live specimen? In order to find out, they implanted these lab-grown hair follicles into the skin of mice, and miraculously, the follicles continued to produce hair, proving that these hair follicles weren't just alive, but that they were fully functional. This type of research opens the door to revolutionary treatments. Instead of being limited by the number of hairs on your head, doctors could take a small sample of your cells, multiply them in a lab, and print tens of thousands of personalized hair follicles ready for transplantation. This will provide an unlimited source of hair for people who suffer from alopecia, scalp scarring, or any type of hair loss from an injury such as a burn.